courage is what makes Daniel Waymark so special as well. Danielle is just eight years old, but already she's led a remarkable life, inspiring everyone who meets her, as Chris Simmons discovered. I like going to the hospital. You like going to the hospital? Why is that? Because they have good foods. This is a story about love, courage and determination. Well, they told me she wasn't going to live. Leanne Waymark and her now eight-year-old daughter Danielle have battled the deadly meningococcal disease since she was a baby. I mean, she's had about 30-something operations up to this stage. Um, it was just in and out of surgery all the time. Surgery for? Um, amputations, skin grafts. When Danielle was just 14 months old, the meningococcal bacteria invaded her bloodstream. The source was unknown. It could have been any one of two million Australians who carry the bacteria but are not affected by it. As it began to devour Danielle's little body, surgeons flew into action. Her left arm amputated through her elbow and her four fingers, her palm and her half of a thumb off her right hand. Over what period and of time? Most of toes, two and a half months. Oh, she lost most of her toes, but she kept her big toe on her left foot. So her surgeon, one of her surgeons, three years ago, took her big toe off and put that onto her hand. Did that make much difference? Yeah. yeah. What, what were you able to do? Um, pick up my knife and fork at the dinner table. I see you have a, a bandage on right now. What was your latest operation? Um, that I had to strengthen my toe. That's mm -hmm. my hand. Right. And I took a bone out of my hip and put it into my finger. Well, Danielle's a joy to be with. She's an absolute delight. And uh, she doesn't concentrate on her disability. She concentrates on what she can do. Dr. David Roper, Leanne and Danielle's GP, has shared every stage of their heartache. He's constantly moved by Danielle's courage. She would have been very close to death, and uh, it's a, a miracle that she's done as well as she has. She never complains about the task. She will always try. She never says, I can't do it. We need to place our art smocks on before we paint. At Thornley West Public School, class teacher Robin Kent says improvisation has become Danielle's speciality. very good at solving her own problems. For example, when we were doing handprints and she doesn't really have a hand, she just quietly asked whether she could use a friend's hand and then put her name on it. That brain and see how it works, huh? You remember again? Which muscle? The back one to open it and the front one to close it. This is the first of many artificial limbs Danielle will be fitted with as her body grows. A body that over the next few years must undergo further major surgery. Her left leg is four centimetres shorter than her right. And she's got to have that lengthened. Uh, that involves um, her surgeon breaking the bone and putting rods in. How do you believe Danielle has coped so well? Because she got sick so young. She hasn't known any, any different, because I, I just treat her normally. I treat her like a, her brother. If she's naughty, she goes into her room, um, same as her brother. So you don't go soft on her? No, nah, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> After her next operation in June, Danielle will be unable to walk for two years. Leanne prays fundraising events she's organising will help pay for a motorised wheelchair and a station wagon to carry it. It must have taken its toll on you. It does, sometimes. But Danielle being the way she is, being able to cope, helps me cope. <laughs> She's such a brave little girl.